And it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And that's a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I just put some black paint on. And these are little tiny cut acetate cards that I'm going to dip into these colors in a silicone ice cube tray. And uh, there's quite a few of them there, but there isn't much in them. And we'll see how this works. I'm going to try and keep these colors, these acetate cards to my, to my right where I can grab them when I want them. And in the meantime, I'm going to use my OXO omelette turning spatula to push the paint I pushed up to the edge close so it will fall over in most of the places and then I can run my finger along it or the spatula in this case. Hopefully I don't have so much that it's going to drip everywhere. It kind of looks like I do. Maybe I got to put my glasses on. That's a good way to start. Always a good way to start. So it's kind of been a damp day out here. I'm standing in puddles and that means that the paint won't dry too fast, which is always a good thing for me. Just like I used to think it might be a problem when it was cold and it's not. <laughs> cold means the paint doesn't move as fast and I like that. It gives me more work time. There are products you can buy to give you more, give you more work time. You just have to look through the, the aisles at the art supply store or ask a professional. Uh, Retarder is one of them. I think gold, it's a golden product and I'm sure there are more by more companies. I'm not really sure how I would use them in pouring or how they would work in pouring because I haven't tried because I'd rather just work within my time frame. But I've got enough paint to go over the edge of my canvas which is kind of a good thing because I don't think I'm going to be doing any tilting. Well I say that but I never know. I've got stuff in my way that needs to go. Yesterday's pour container for the 20 by 20s that you might have seen or might be about to see. I got to play, do some more play with the enamels. And I, I have included a black and a white gloss enamel from Folk Art. It's sort of the same similar reaction that the, uh, the white satin enamel has that people are enjoying using. So I'm just going to keep spreading my paint until it looks like I have some coverage. I love my OXO omelette turning spatula and uh, on the first blue link under show more when you click it you can find a whole list of art materials including this phenomenal spatula which has an incredibly lovely thin edge and you could just scrape right off. You could probably do that with a lot of things but not any of them any easier than this one. I guarantee. I've been using this for a couple years and all I want is like five more. Which reminds me if you want. <laughs> I'm kidding. In any case, there's always a, a drawing running every month if you want to help with art supplies. It's a $10 minimum to get in, but uh, there's, I believe there's seven or eight paintings and a lesson up for grabs. And either one of my books, Volume 1 or Vol Volume 2, both are, can be seen on the Amazon link. And uh, Kindle has an ebook for them. And you can actually go and scope it out for free and borrow... I think there's some sort of limited way that you can actually, I don't know, I don't know. But I do know if you buy the soft cover version, you will be able to buy the, um, the ebook for like a couple three dollars, more like three. All right, so I'm going to throw my spatula in the bucket and hope that I have covered enough of the canvas. I say that, but I don't like seeing canvas on my edges. The bucket just keeps it from... Uh, going anywhere. So I'm going to start, <laughs> I'm going to start by using the white satin enamel and the little pull card and pulling as far as I can and seeing how far that goes and what I might want to do with it. That's not really what I thought I was going to do with it, but it's okay. I'll start however I can. I don't really have a plan, but I am going to try and keep wiping off my card or grabbing a fresh card. And this time I'm going to scoop and lay down and pull. And I'm just going to keep rotating. I'm going to just keep grabbing a few new colors every time. I've done this with a small scoop and I like the results of it. I thought about doing it on an already pre-primed black canvas, but since I don't have any, I'm not doing that right now. So this is a neon from Folk Art. It will not show up when it encounters the black, other than as a burgundy, for sure. 
I've always want I do like lines and stripes, so this is kind of cool. I do want a rag near me that I don't have. I wonder what I did with that. <laughs> I've probably got a sponge somewhere. Anyway, so I have colors I like. And depending on how this goes, I will probably most likely be adding chain or whatever I happen to add. Could be a basing brush too. Oh, that wasn't what I intended there. That's okay. Probably I have a lot more colors than I need and I'm going to wind up dumping this on another piece. But I'm kind of having fun playing with making marks and leaving textures. I don't have very many bright colors and I'm going to let that relax. And I did cut one bigger sheet to try and dip in there. All right, so far so good. We're just playing and we're having a good time. So no, no big shakes. I got the wobbles. It's okay, it's abstract art. I'm gonna grab some green. I do too, it's a flimsy little card. It's not really like a paintbrush at all. You watch in the end, I'll just decide to pour all the paint right onto the canvas and have it go. This is the, um, this is nearly the Pantone color of the year right here, which is kind of fun to, to play with the idea of using the color of the year. I'm going to want some yellow, I can tell now. I want to be a little careful about mixing my colors. I know what I want. I want something to scrape my colors off into, and I have a little saucer up above. So even though you can't see that, take my word for it. I want a good rag next time. And I'm going to use a side of my card now. Because it's not happening fast enough and I really want to see what's going to happen when I do that. I don't want it to be a geometric, so I'm not trying to pull anything in any straight orders. That didn't make any sense. Straight order. <laughs> and any straight lines. I definitely want some orange and I don't have it. And this is a slow process right here. So it won't be my first choice, but um, I have to play and find out what's going on sometimes. So I have a clean card. Probably don't. might not be a video anyone ever sees. It's not doing anything for me. I just want to dump all the paint on it. I know what I want to do. Okay, so change of plans. Find a spoon. Yep. Okay. Goody. We figured it out. Let's, let's have a little dribble of the uh, white enamel. And grab another spoon. Just rest that in something. Oh. The something is very sandy, so we're not going to do that. We're going to put it in something else. Grab another spoon. I have these spoons on my on my Amazon link. I'm so spoiled having to do things quickly, but this way at least I can see what and where I want my colors. Maybe I should just try and use them as quickly as possible, and then we'll get ready and put the chain in, and that'll be fun. I'm going to use my purple over my white because I can. There may even come a moment when I decide to tilt this. Just using the spoon as a mark making facilitator and rotating my turntable. Seeing, I kind of like how long the, uh, the spoon holds just enough paint to really create something. I'm going to want a lot more gold, I can tell you now. So I'm still having fun, even though it was a slow start. And I'm liking combining colors from the residual on the spoon. And I'm getting quite a bit of that. And I probably will tilt, but if I decide I don't want to tilt, then it's going to be chain. I can't see why I wouldn't tilt, to tell you the truth. I 
I like making lines. I've always liked just dribbling fluids. It used to be gesso. I said the first dribble painting I ever uh, painted, I sold for a thousand dollars. That's a spider. Goodbye, spider. To some very wise people from New Jersey, probably know I will be famous someday. Hopefully. Knock on some wood, would you? So this is still entertaining me. And that black, I forget about that black. That black is perfect because it's the enamel and what, mean, what it means is that I will be able to do something. So even though there's quite a bit of paint in here, we might use it all. And I'm not, you know, there's no brainstorming here. This is just mad, crazy dribbling. <laughs> I could even pull a Jackson Pollock and, and splat. Because it's fun to splat. <laughs> what can I say? I'm picking and choosing where I want my colors to go, just by the feeling I get. That's got to be, that white is that white satin and white gloss enamel, and it's... Um, it's dendriting along the edge of it, which is pretty cool. I definitely gave myself enough colors. It's it's really good that it's a cool day because if it wasn't a cool day, these the, the thinner areas would probably, you know, become dry much quicker than this. It's it's um, paint pouring graffiti. <laughs> That's what it is. I'll have to call it that too. This this ice cube tray is pretty cool because it's actually allowing me to clean out 90% plus of the paint that's in here from the little containers. I can't wait to see what I do next. I have no idea what that's going to be at all. I could use a larger bunch of acetate cards. I'm really thinking about taking this container when it's finally empty and it's getting there and just tipping it right over and seeing if I can get anything out of it. A seriously dribbly painting, <laughs> which is really, really cool. I'm okay with that. Because the combinations as I, as I do this, oh, I forgot about my Prussian blue. which will sell. Let's see what happens, you know, when I tip this. I know I said I wouldn't, but I, I lied. <laughs> I want to go ahead. I didn't use any orange, which kind of bums me out, and it's not too late. Okay. Yes, I like the orange. Just a little goes a long way. A lot. I might have to leave this alone now, now that I've added the orange. I'm so, I'm pretty happy with it. There's my white that I have left. Gosh, that's fun. I want to like say, hey, Heavy, come and tell me if I should keep painting on this or tip it or what, but um, I'm going to have to figure it out myself. Oh, I like that mark I just added. I like that the paint will actually dribble from my spoon at a fairly, um, I don't know, what, what kind of word should I use there? A, a good rate. I've got just about enough white and I've got plenty of black negative space. So I don't know if I've ever shared a dribble painting with you guys before, probably not. And I'm kind of thinking, I got two minutes left and I use up most of my time and unless I want to make this a part two, which, which I really could, I could just stop at this stage and, uh, and go on and do another. Or um, what I mean to say is, duh. What I mean to say is that I could change it completely for another video, but I like what I have, so I'm thinking that that's probably not going to happen. But you can't tell what I'm going to do. I could change my mind in a heartbeat. I'm just 
I want to show you guys, most of that color is gone out of there. I love my little spoons, by the way. They're such a cool thing. And I like that the... I'm not mixing any colors, so they sort of sit together in the spoon and then they fall out and, and have little shards of color from the, from the last container. I'm going to have to put this in the bucket for sure. So I should tell you guys, I do sell my artwork. This will be for sale. Well, maybe it will, unless I fall right hard in love. And most of my black is, is staying. I really, I really want to experiment with tilting just because but I really also like the painting enough to keep it and my container is empty and I'm about out of time so I'm going to tell you guys please watch more videos longer that's the one thing that the algorithm for YouTube knows and that's the one thing that will help me let them run if you watch the commercials it might help me buy some art supplies um, but actually watching more of the videos and watching them longer is what will keep me at YouTube and uh, it's in doubt I'm down two-thirds of what I was making a year ago, or right, right around there, and um, boy, that's fun. I'm having too much fun. I want a little bit of this. Whoops. I want to shake that. It's a Because I'm Can Moment, and that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link under Show More. And I even like that. You know what? It's, it's good. I don't think... I can get anything out of there. So I'm going to put it in the bucket. And I know that I could pull on that someplace, but I don't know where that place would be. So I've got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you. And I should probably torch. And I just think this is cool the way it is. I'm sorry if I disappointed anybody. Um, I'll do another. How about that? Chances are good. So I'm asking you please to give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It might help. And I appreciate the, appreciate all the help I can get. If you're looking to watch more videos and you like what you've found so far, go to my channel by clicking my face or, or the name of my channel and uh, look for created playlists. There will be nine with a hundred and, and the tenth one will be the most current videos available. They'll be the most recent I posted. And so there are a thousand videos. They're also categorized by genre, like abstracts, like this will be. There's no, there's no dribble painting category yet, but there might be after this, because this is just way too much fun. I love it. The more I look at it, the more I like it. So I gave myself permission to stop, and the reason I did, even though the paint is heavy, is because I use GAC 800 by Golden in all my paint mixes, which means that it won't crack when it's heavy, and I didn't have to tilt. That was just really fun. I recommend that. Let's turn this off and you're going to be gone sh soon. Under the video, I have Teespring clothing. Yes, it's smoking. It didn't catch on fire though, at least. Um, I have Teespring clothing with all over print t-shirts and all over print leggings and lots of other stuff there. And uh, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram under the video. Also, my paint pouring recipe, my mixture, is under the video. And uh, please know that I appreciate your comments and I appreciate your donations and if you want to be somebody who helps support the studio there is a ten dollar minimum drawing every month where you can be eligible to win one of seven or eight paintings one of my books and this month will be um, an art lesson in the studio which is four hours long if you happen to be in Florida or in Spring Hill that would be a nice treat if you're a fan um, I said about thumbs up, so Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. Thank you guys for over 85,000 subscribers. It's slow going, but hey, it's 85,200 right now, and thank you guys very much for hanging in there with me and helping me stay. Um, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More, maybe not a gallery, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More, I said it again, never mind, just ignore me. Um, <laughs> has my link to Fine Art America and Pixels.com where you can see the stuff that I've posted since 2013 and there's a lot of products there that are kind of fun to look at even if you weren't going to buy anything you might want to see the stuff and uh, I don't need to worry about too much about what's going on over the side because uh, everything else and I can touch up any little pieces of canvas that are missing it's all good it's all good, and this is cool, and um, whether you like it or not, I love it. So thank you guys for being here so much. 
I appreciate you very much. Check the community board or Facebook group expression studio gallery appreciation for tomorrow's video. I post on the community board on my channel and also on that Facebook group. So if you're looking